Planetary Protection was founded in the 1950s to avoid harmful contamination of other planetary objects, avoid adverse changes to the environment of the Earth resulting from the introduction of extraterrestrial matter. So we protect other planets from things on Earth, we protect the Earth from things coming back. So if you're going to an object that can't possibly host Earth life, well, you don't need to worry about that. No problem, we don't have to do anything to our spacecraft to prevent the Earth life from getting there because it won't grow when it's there. Likewise, if you're bringing stuff back from somewhere that is un very unlikely to have its own life, an asteroid, don't worry about it. So mining asteroids, not a problem for planetary protection. However, if you're going to go to a place that could host Earth life, then you want to be much more careful. In the context of Mars, the similar approach applies. Places on Mars that have a low probability of hosting Earth life have fewer restrictions than places on Mars that look like they might have a higher possibility of hosting Earth life. We want to find Mars life. We don't want to find Earth life that we carried along for the ride. When the Viking missions were launched to Mars, those spacecraft were fully baked to kill all the organisms that we knew about at the time on the surface. Turns out that that same process would kill all the organisms we know about today. But we have discovered that there are many more Earth organisms that have capabilities we didn't expect. So if you had pizza last night, or if you put cheese on your salad last night, or cheese on your pasta, you probably have organisms in your mouth right now that could grow on Mars, as long as they are protected from the UV radiation, so that, that is lethal to organisms, and they have some level of water and nutrients. So there are probably organisms in your mouth right now that could grow on Mars if they had an umbrella and a cold drink. Earth life is much more capable than we think it is. That's something we're still learning, so we want to take into account those considerations as we go to explore other places.